Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Dog and Bone Case 100% waterproof wetsuit for the iPhone 5S with Touch ID capable. Alright, so Dog and Bone recently made uh, the newest wetsuit for the iPhone 5S. Now this one did come out before the lifeproof case did and it does the exact same thing. Still waterproof, shockproof, dirt proof, snow proof, everything except for this one can use Touch ID while still protecting the screen, um, the Touch ID button and the back and everything. So let's go ahead and check this out. Before we begin, this case is $79.95 and you can get it on dogandbonecases.com. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Uh, they do come in multiple colors, but today we're going to be looking at the orange and black. Okay, so when you get the box and you open it up, it has a few simple instructions that it tells you about uh, the case and what each thing does, and then you get a preview of the case, um, and then we're going to go ahead and just open this up and put it on. I'll show you how it works. Also, big thanks to Dog and Bone Cases for sending me this case for free to review. I highly appreciate that. This case is awesome. Okay, and it does come with a little screen protector that you can use. Um, I already have a screen protector on my phone, but I'll probably just use this as a backup. Um, but in case you do need a screen protector, you can also apply that. All right, so with the case, it's in a couple different pieces. So you got to get it uh, completely secured in so it won't obviously get any waterproof. You want to keep it airtight. So go ahead and pop this bottom piece off, and then you can go from the corners all the way around. You just need to pull off this top screen here um, so you can bring the phone in. And you'll see the little rubber um, body glove inside. Like that and then there's a little glove that your phone goes into inside of the case. Alright, so you go ahead and take your iPhone 5 or 5S and put it in the little rubber body glove and then just make sure this is over the home button of course because that's where you take your fingerprint from using Touch ID and the rest you just have to put the phone back in the little glove here and then put the front plate on make sure it's snapped tight everywhere and completely air sealed and then close the little bottom sealant latch and there it is with the case on actually looks really see you still see the apple in the back uh... your camera everything like that um, and it feels really durable too i feel like if i drop this it's going to be <laughs> way more protective uh... than my spec case which definitely probably is but you know If you've had a life proof case before, it looks very similar. You can't even really tell there's anything over the screen. It's kind of like, you know, on the Otter Boxes, how they uh, have that as well. Um, and then I'm going to real quick get some water and we're going to do a little test with this. All right, and before attempting putting it in water, just make sure you follow this quick checklist to make sure um, that you've completed everything correctly. It'll show you how to make sure it's completely sealed off. Um, and I did already go ahead and double check that. So now I'm going to go ahead and just turn the camera on and drop it in and show you how it works. All right, we're going to click record on the camera, and it's time to drop it in. There it is. Phone is completely doused in water, and still just fine. Freaking awesome. So there's just a test of how the uh, dog and bone case does work on the iPhone 5S. And before I go and dry my hands off and my phone, uh, make sure you go to dogmonecases.com. I'll leave the link for this in the description. Like I said, they're only $79.95. They are literally the exact same thing as a LifeProof case, except for cheaper. And they have 5S uh, Touch ID capabilities, which I know LifeProof just put some of those out. Um, but I've had better luck with this one than I have with the LifeProof case. So uh, make sure you go check this out. The link's in the description. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at JB underscore iPhone 5. Thanks for watching.